besieged Ukrainian forces in Mariupol beg Elon Musk for help. Soldiers' families describe apocalyptic conditions that surrounded Azov steel steel plant. Ukrainian troops trapped in the besieged Azov steel steel plant in Mariupol and their families have issued a desperate plea for help, appealing to world leaders, the Pope and even Tesla chief Elon Musk to evacuate them. Natalia Zaritska, the wife of one of the soldiers holed up in the steel plant and surrounded by Russian forces, said hundreds of wounded people were suffering in inhumane conditions. They have no legs, no arms and no anesthetic. It's total agony, Zaritska said during a press conference in Kyiv on Thursday afternoon. There is shelling from the sea, from the air and from the ground. This is the biggest tragedy of the 21st century. My husband, when he calls me, he describes the situation there as apocalyptic. The fighters trapped in Azov still have also directly called on world leaders to intervene. In these inhumane conditions, I turn to the Pope, to world leaders and diplomats around the world. Serhii Volinsky, the commander of the Ukrainian troops in Mariupol, wrote on Facebook Thursday. He also appealed to Musk. People say you come from another planet to teach people to believe in the impossible. Volinsky tweeted directly at the Tesla and SpaceX CEO who has given Ukraine his Starlink satellite internet terminals. Our planets are next to each other, as I live where it is nearly impossible to survive. Help us get out of Azovstal to a mediating country. If not you, then who? Give me a hint, Verlinsky said. Mariupol Mayor Aled Petro Andriy Oshchenko said Russian forces were carrying out a ground operation with the aim of seizing the Azovstal site, noting, the main goal is to block the exits from the underpass system. Some traitors pointed them out to the enemy. According to the authorities in Kyiv, there are around 500 wounded soldiers and officers trapped in Azovstal, sheltering in the plant's sprawling underground passages. Azovstal is the last pocket of resistance in the strategic port city of Mariupol, which is perched on the Sea of Azov. On Saturday, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said more than 300 civilians had been evacuated from the plant, Thanks to joint efforts by Ukrainian authorities, the International Committee of the Red Cross and the United Nations. We have evacuated almost all civilians from Azovstal, Zelensky said. Of course, we are also working to evacuate our military, he added, conceding that this task is extremely difficult. The families of the trapped soldiers are seeking further action. During Thursday's press conference, they appealed for help from world leaders especially Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, a key mediator between Ukraine and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Mustafa Jemilov, a leader of the Crimean Tatars who left the Crimean Peninsula after Russia annexed it in 2014, said Ankara had offered to send an evacuation ship with Turkish observers to the Ukrainian port of Budyansk, to which the Mariupol defenders could be transferred by bus. Turkey would guarantee that the fighters would remain in Turkey until the end of the war, Jemilov said at Thursday's press conference. But Hankara said the Russian defense ministry had refused to accept its offer, insisting the Ukrainian troops must surrender instead. Ukrainian Deputy Prime Minister Irina Veshchuk said on Wednesday that the Ukrainian forces in Azov still had refused to surrender to the Russians. Veshchuk added that Kyiv had asked Moscow to swap injured Ukrainian soldiers for Russian prisoners of war, but there is no agreement yet. Negotiations are continuing.